नैक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर वन थौज एट हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव सो वन थौज एट हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव सो हिया फर्स्ट टू डिजिट वन ग्रूप स्टार्ट फ्रॉम रईट हैंड सैड दैक्स्ट टू डिजिट सैकेंड ग्रूप Now here eighteen is there in the first group. If you take three three is a same number. We should take three three is a nine. Four four is a sixteen. Okay, five five is a means that is twenty five. Twenty five is greater than sixteen. So here we should take a four four is a sixteen. Then subtract eighteen minus sixteen. Here three remainder. Six here two remainder. Sorry, two remainder. Eighteen minus sixteen. Two remainder. Next group we should take here twenty five. Next four we should make it double. Four plus four eight. Four plus four eight. So next year blank. Yet if you take eighty eighty five into five, same numbers five five is a twenty five two carry five here five eight is a forty plus two forty two, or you can take a eighty. Eighty two into two, two two is a four, two eight is a sixteen, one sixty four. If you take three, that is greater than two hundred twenty five. So we have to take here eighty two into two, that is equal to one sixty four. Now here subtract five minus four, that is one. Next year two is year six. Then carry one. Then it become twelve. Twelve minus six that is equal to six. Then year one plus one it become two. Two minus two is zero. So your remainder is sixty one. Remainder is sixty one. So next year forty two square is less than. One thousand eight hundred twenty-five. Okay, forty-two square is less than one thousand eight hundred twenty-five. Okay, next after this next perfect square number after forty-two here we should take a forty-three. Forty-three square multiply. Forty-three into forty-three, so it become one eight four nine one thousand eight hundred forty-nine. Okay, hence number to be added one eight four nine minus one thousand eight hundred twenty-five. So subtract this. Nine minus five, that is equal to four here. Then four minus two, two. So here twenty-four. Hence the square root of. Hence the square root of. Square root of. Square root of one eight four nine. This is equal to forty three. Okay. Next, we'll go to next number. Question number five. Six thousand four hundred and twelve. Six thousand four hundred and twelve. 
now you should make groups start from right hand side two two digits one group then here second group next two digits second group so here you should take a eight eight za sixty four eight eight za sixty four now subtract sixty four minus sixty four that is equal to zero now eight you should make it double 8 plus 8 16 you take next group 12 here next once if now if you take one year after 16 it become 161 161 into 1 it is greater so what we should do here 160 you should take a 160 into 0 You will get a zero. Okay, then here subtract the remainder is twelve. Remainder is twelve. So here eighty eighty square is less than six thousand four hundred and twelve. So after eighty. Which number we should take here? Eighty-one square. Next perfect square number. Eighty-one square. So multiply eighty-one into eighty-one. Eighty-one into eighty-one. Multiply here. One into one is one. One into eight is eight. Next eight ones are eight. Eight eight is sixty-four. One eight plus eight sixteen, four plus one is five, then six here, six thousand five hundred and sixty one. So six thousand five hundred and sixty one. Hence number to be added. Hence number to be added six five six one. Minus six thousand four hundred and twelve, six thousand four hundred and twelve. Now to subtract this six thousand four hundred and twelve, subtract these two six thousand four hundred and twelve, six thousand five sixty one minus six thousand four hundred and twelve. Subtract so. Subtract here six four one two. Now here one you take from this side. It here eleven minus two nine. Here one plus one is two. Six minus two that is equal to four. Five minus four that is equal to one. That means one hundred and forty-nine. One hundred and forty-nine. So six thousand four hundred and twelve plus one forty-nine should add these two. This is equal to six thousand five hundred and sixty-one. Six thousand five hundred and sixty-one. So that means square root of six thousand five hundred and sixty-one is equal to eighty-one. Okay.